Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 40 of my Bar City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And today, I'm in the board section. I'm going to look to ask a request for a senior affiliate because uh, some of you guys ask for this, like to get more players on loan uh, for zero wages. Uh, but I did that last time, and when they came back, they didn't come back with anyone. It's really yeah disappointing because... I always used to do this uh, when I played this a long time ago, lower league management saves, and it was pretty simple to get one, and you can get one from like maybe a Premier League team or something, at least championship. Definitely helps you on your way. So we'll try here. We'll go networking, senior affiliate again, and we'll choose the one for yeah, to get players on loan without the cost of their wages. But then our chairman, Manda Rigby, says... That she, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want us to rely on loan players. But actually, that's what we're doing at the moment. Like, a lot of our loan players are our best players. I'll just say, I don't know. We'll be left behind by our rivals? Yeah, it's, it's not going to get accepted. It just, we feel we're opposite, yeah, um, operating, sorry, at an acceptable level and therefore still refuse to grant your request. I'll just say, I can't stress how important I believe it to be, but yeah, I'm just going to, I'll say I can't, I don't want to argue too much, because I don't want to get fired or anything like that. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, look at this. My job status is actually untouchable right now, and that's 75% out of 100. So that's really, really good for, I guess you could say, so far. For me, I thought it's been a struggling season, but we have been improving. So obviously, they're noting that improvement. You can see Vanarama Conference. The minimum expectation is to stay clear of relegation. And when I kind of started this season, it was actually one below that. But I increased it to get a bit more wages. It said, do your best or something like that. Do your best to uh, yeah, avoid relegation. So even if I did get relegated... I could still keep my job because that was one of the expectations just to try to avoid. But I moved it up to stay clear of relegation and we're doing that right now. And the board are delighted that the team is currently on course to achieve a mid-table position. You might think that's a bit lucky because we've just been yeah, on a run of recent wins, which has pushed us up to, where are we? Uh, in the table, like in the points. We've got 25 points. So we have, yeah, we've really bolstered away from that. Like the lowest team in the relegations are like 21st. Uh, Chester, 19 points. And I think we actually lost against them, didn't we? But yeah, we are two wins ahead of them. Uh, six points ahead. So still the conceding goals is a problem. 40, but we've scored 32. We've scored actually more goals than Eastley, who are top. I know they're really good defensively, but it shows where we are in attack. If you can sort out the defense like I think we have in recent games, if you forget about the Oldham game, they're in League 1, near the top of League 1, so you can't really take that into account. But yeah, at least the last two league games have only conceded one goal, and last game at home we kept a clean sheet. So I feel we are on the right track and not like games where we're conceding five goals. That's, yeah, ridiculous. We're really uh, moving on from that and yeah, scoring a good amount of goals as well. But unfortunately, yeah, we can't get a like a parent club. But our squad is big already. Like, I wouldn't... Sure, you'd want better players, but we'll probably have to let go of a few because your yeah, players won't be playing and they'll get disappointed. But this is a big enough squad and also our best-rated centre-back... Josh Pask, he's lowered, I think, what he was, was he like a, a solid three stars? I think he was, or he has circles <laughs> on this new skin, and look, he's improving, well, his physicals are going down, that's from the injury, but now he's back, he played one under-21s game, so it gives him a bit of match fitness, still needs a lot more though, uh, but definitely for the second half of the season, we're not even halfway yet, so hopefully he can st um, stay fit, uh, that's what we need, um, he's on loan from West Ham, so big player. Uh, for us, but we have got, let's see if we can beat another top team, but this episode, it could potentially be hard with away games, and I still notice, like, people saying, maybe you should play some unimportant games off camera, but at this stage, they're all important, I'm not out of danger, yeah, I could go on another bad run, you have no idea what's going to happen, and I know some people do that, like, do similar series, I actually watch a few, uh, if you, yeah, because sometimes it's hard to find football manager channels, not the most popular, <laughs> yeah, uh, game on YouTube to play, but I like watching other people do it, but a lot of guys, they just, yeah, play a lot off camera, but I feel as though I want to be different in that way, 
and and that leads to that as well sometimes but this is the comment i really hate um if i'm honest when people say that for example my manchester united save uh, i think it was episode number 77 someone said oh you're on episode number 77 and you're only in 2016 or something that's because I'm recording every single game. That's why I don't like. I really don't like when people compare me to the expected for Football Manager, where most people don't play every single game. So, yeah, don't compare me to that because I'm doing something completely different. So it's not a bad thing. The majority of you like this series <laughs> where I'm recording every single game and want to see everything that's happening. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you don't like it, maybe share your thoughts but i know a lot of you guys want you don't want to miss things so i do understand that as well but anyway we shall move on i just yeah sometimes i really need to get things off my chest and maybe make you understand why yeah, and what i think about those certain things and make you understand maybe if you don't understand why i record my videos this way i feel i just it's what i enjoy i like sitting down and playing football manager all day so <laughs> that's all i can do uh, really, and you saw we've got some players missing, especially strikers, really, really tough. So, in this kind of game, see, I want to continue playing this way, controlling the game, because I think we can. In the last game, of, of, loss, yeah, of course, that loss in the FA Cup, we competed really, really well, I feel. And that was trying to control the game. So, got the opposition instructions, just to let you know those again. And also... We'll say assertively, expect to see a much better performance. And they get motivated. Like, I was happy that sometimes you have to say things in Football Manager, team talks wise, that you don't honestly mean. It's just the way it goes. And also, there's something you're going to notice. We'll just see if anything happens here. Yeah. Um, I took off the match stats thing because I am playing 3D on my Manchester United save. And it will be annoying just to put it on and off because it activates. However you set it, it affects all your saves, unfortunately. Oh, can we score? We do! Oh, like, where has this form come from? And we beat another team in the, like, top five or something the other game, wasn't it? Like, at home, one of the home games. So that lets me know we could get promoted this season if we keep winning. We're only going to catapult up the table. So, yeah, I hope you don't mind not seeing the match stats thing, but because when you play in 3D, it's kind of, yeah, you can't see it too well and it because it's 3D, it's like transparent and all of that. But yes, you can see the last five minutes, because usually the possession is the main thing. And here you can see, and if I desperately want to, I can go into stats. But yes, you get a good gauge anyway, without needing to see that. And of course, you, I give you the re review of it most of the time at the end of the game, just see the stats. So that should be okay. But anyway... Let's move on. Let's try and get a second here. Adelsbury. Pratt. Pratt. Oh, my God. We need to take advantage. And also another thing, like, if I... You want to see this, this form I'm on right now. Like, if I got on this form and I wasn't showing the games, playing more off camera, like, you probably think I'm reloading games or something as... <laughs> yeah. Pr um, what am I yeah, Payne scored that for them. Locke couldn't make the save. Yeah, you'll probably think I'm reloading, like... Honestly, sometimes people said that in the past, but like, I'd rather delete all my videos and channel than cheat and lie to people. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another benefit for showing you everything that, more or less everything that happens. Hmm. Interesting half. I think we started well, but we've got poor, a lot of our players has poor ratings, so that's interesting. We'll say aggressively, I'm far from pleased. Fire them up. Like, we scored that goal, sure, but ugh, like our ratings. I thought they would have been a bit better, so maybe this half hasn't gone as well as I thought. And yeah, I know I've said it a few times, but I am really trying to record this a lot more, especially with dropping Man United back to, yeah, that one's going to be playing more off camera for people that like that. Oh, can we score? Adelsbury again! He is definitely back. I've said it so many times, but that's his 10th goal of the season. He'll be going close to, like, the most goals in the league almost. He's back to normal. Maybe it's just because I've found his best role or put him back in his best role. Box-to-box -box midfielder. That shot was amazing. No deflections there as well, but this is where we've got to be careful. Like, we can't concede. We've got to focus. We'll say team talk assertively say concentrate 
We'll play that. And then I was going to make a sub because I want to take Palmer off. That's stupid. You can't make a team talk and make a sub at the same time. But if we score, it won't matter. Go, Pratt. Pratt. Go on, lad. Pratt scores. No way. It's 3-1. Playing away from home against a team that is fourth. McPhee signing this season. The two experienced guys up front. Maybe that has showed. Because usually I might play him with a JPS or something like that. But maybe the two experienced guys is... It's a good choice. And Lee Palmer, I suppose he's had a decent game. Actually not playing in one of his better roles. But he's he's done okay. But now we'll bring on Anton Walks. Just fix this up because it always changes like that for whatever reason. Dan Hart. Switch them up and they both should be in better roles. So you both converted to more of a green... Uh, suitability, I suppose. Uh, anyone else? Who's playing poorly? Uh, Sagani Simpson, again, very reliable, but the problem is he's getting a bit older. How old is he now? Yeah, he's 31. That's a very awkward age, but I suppose as long as he's playing well, it's hard for defenders to get good ratings, and he seems to do so. But anyway, anyone else? No, the whole team's playing yeah, pretty well. Put Dan Hart into that deep line playmaker on defend. will probably do a better job uh, than Palmer because he's just more naturally defensive <laughs> so let's continue on McPhee uh, look really good creating that for David Pratt who scored his second could David Pratt be back maybe he could get back to that form of the first half of the last season that's what I'm looking for and surely we can't lose it from here we've we've got this we'll just go to advanced tactics and uh, for a second and might make another sub here I'm actually going to drop out I'm not sure if it's a good decision to make but I'm going to bring out Galliner because Josh Pask is actually he needs match fitness he needs to be playing and technically he's our best rated center back so you wouldn't see any harm in that hopefully anyway and maybe one last sub Pratt you might want to leave on for a hat trick um, actually Dan Hart to come off and we'll bring on Noah Keats. Then we can drop Chris McPhee back to a center midfield position. That's a good thing about McPhee. He can play center mid, center attacking mid, and striker. So three really, yeah, attacking. Well, deep playing playmaker on defend is not really attacking. But he's an experienced type. He can probably do well in that role. Obviously, yeah, I'm not saying it's his best role. But he can come in and do a job. And hopefully, just another body, maybe stronger body in midfield. Come on, get rid of this. Lock, important save. Because if they score here, yeah, to make it 2-3, then you get a little bit scared. But it looks like time is being played out here. Only a couple minutes. Yeah, we've got this. We have. What a victory. It just shows you how much we have improved. Oh, Pratt, maybe. No. That is game, but wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 3-1. Like, I thought this would be a hard game maybe to get a draw out of. But David Pratt had a hand in every single goal with two goals and an assist. How great is David Pratt? Hopefully. But yeah, actually, Demkiv was the player of the match. So this is where I'll show you the match stats and all of that. There you can see the general stats, but a bit more in-depth ones here of the actually our players. Bar stats. Demkiv, who played eight key passes. That is insane. That is insane. Wow. And of course, Adelsbury's goal was great. Demkiv, he's coming along now. Where This is the kind of player um, I thought he was. He's coming into that now. In the cup, he did fantastic. FA Cup, what? 7.65 rating. He's only 18. He's got. I made sure he had a yeah, contract for a few seasons because you don't know how much he's going to improve. Other teams may want him. Is there actually his potential gauge yet? Yeah, potential be yeah, a good Skybet League 2. Or Sky, yeah, Skybet League 2 attacking midfielder. So he's going to take us maybe to promotion to League 1. We'll see. And I'm almost thinking something here for this next game. I'll just go to the match preview. You can see we're playing against Aldershot, who's in 18th. So if you think we can beat a team that was like 4th, Aldershot. But this is always tricky. You could easily lose against them. But look at that. We have moved up to 11th now. This is what I mean. We are only one win away, like three points away from fifth. That's the promotion places. Oh, we are, we're hitting form at the right time, I feel. Like, if we can continue this for the rest of the season, we started with our rough patch, getting used to this league. Our players are getting used to it more now. And we can, yeah, work out to win games. 
it's a real chance that we can get uh, coming first is probably not realistic, but maybe like a fourth or fifth we can gun for that position late. Well, it's not even late. It's just not even half of the season yet, so plenty of time. But I have promoted Josh Pask, and yeah, getting Josh Pass back, our best rated centre back. Um, so dropping Gallinari out, who's prone to making errors, and Anthony Robinson in increasing in his last five games, the rating just under seven average rating. David Pratt hitting form. Then you've got Godden and Tehurst returning. So guys that can score, it's coming along very nicely. I feel uh, Furlong could come back in as well. You'll take Ward out. Furlong's done actually decent. Put him on the right side. Probably prefers that a little bit more. Got centre back on the bench. Uh, Marich, Noah Keats, actually, oh, yeah, I was about to say, if it wasn't for the injuries, like the strikers we have, I'd be releasing Ross Stern right now, which I don't want to do, I don't, he was killer last season, but how is there that much of a difference in dominance, 18 goals and 14 assists, and this, like other players have been performing, like he's still got decent pace and good dribbling, 14, that's really good. He's only on 200 per week, so it's nothing extensive. And the thing is, though, this is what I want to show you. His contract, I would imagine, anyway, who wants... Yeah, he won like 450. That's just because we're at a higher level now. And I don't think Ross Stern will be worth that. So if anything, I'll just let him go at the end of the season. But right now, can't make his way into the first team. So we're going to leave it like this for now. Going with this team, pretty strong. Not much reason to change it up to... Actually, no... Uh, Anton walks to come on for Lee Palmer. Then we'll change up with Dan Hart there. Get those better ratings. And yeah, still, Lee Palmer's good to give him chances here and there. But obviously, he's not the quality right now. Definitely in the future. He's got leading Skybet League too. That changes often. Because someone mentioned that like his potential has gone up or gone down. It doesn't. He's just had yeah, different judgments. Anyway, where are we right now? This is a huge game. Because you don't know what the other teams are going to be like their results, but you wouldn't expect every single team from 10th to 5th, like Braintree, to all lose, but I maybe, I'm, if I can win here, I could get up to at least 8th, I think, but again, it depends what the other teams do, and because I get to this stage now, i got to keep winning, because these teams in the top half of the table are going to uh, win games, but come on, let's say passionately, Yes, and I fully expect you to keep a run going and win this match. Come on. And I'll just continue that team talk. I'll say, like, I want to be really expectant now, and we'll see if that does anything. It doesn't seem we're getting amazing reactions, though. That's the downside. But just say expect a performance just to be consistent. But unfortunately, no ratings. But they know. Like I told you, there was something special in these players. They're very... Uh, young and technically gifted a lot of our players like attacking players as well i've got some experience at the back but a lot of our players are young and talented and when they're confident yeah the performance can show on the pitch oh but how much space look at this oh we're lucky there i honestly thought they could have scored they were creating a lot of space out there and even here dan hart picks up a yellow come on not the greatest of starts but this will be amazing, just like a huge contrast if somehow we could get two away wins in an episode. McPhee, McPhee, look at that, cool on the ball. Adelsbury, can he do it again? Let's see if he can have another big game. Maybe take a shot. Adelsbury! Oh, he's testing me. He is testing me. If he scored that, man, I have no idea how I would have reacted. That would be like the best goal ever for a non-league player. But he's shaping up. And he can only improve, and he showed that in his performances. McPhee, Pratt, this is some good stuff we're playing, and to have experience up front is really important. Oh, here we go, quick passing, but they get it back. Hopefully they don't hit us on the break. They're going to create space again, I can tell. Robinson, win this. Oh, no, Corbett gets passed. No. I knew that was going to be a goal. Oh, but it was offside. But I was going to say, because, like, the defensive error, like, when your players make an error, like, or don't make a tackle or something, obviously, you just look at this. It was like a bad error there. Like, when it's so obvious it was bad, it leads them to scoring. But luckily, it was offside. Whew. Come on, lads. See the difference? We could have scored, and then they had a chance. 
Big chance to win this game. It's against a team that's doing poorly. Come on. Chris Dillon's injured now as well. Come in with a halftime team talk. It's a great opportunity to come in and say we're doing poorly to pump them up. See, Dan Hart has been error prone. It's good to see those kind of things as well. Uh, but we'll say aggressively, I'm not happy. Come on. And Anton walks, I will just say assertively, I believe you can improve. And look at that. Players are either happy, fired up, or motivated. <laughs> That's a perfect team talk. I couldn't have done it better than that, I think. But even though this is a away game, so even if we get a draw out of it, it won't be too bad. I've got to gauge my... I've got to get back to my expectations. Just because I'm doing well no, uh, now, I can't expect myself to win every single game. We just got promoted. But we just need to continue the four minutes of pen! Harry Beautyman! He came on for their injured player. And now, Ben Adelsbury. Well, I wonder what is going to happen here. With Ben Adelsbury stepping up. I don't want to say he hasn't missed a penalty yet. I'm just going to say I'm confident in his ability. Yes! He doesn't miss. I'll say it after he scores. Because then it's in the bag. He doesn't miss pens. I'm sure he will at some point. But for a lower league player. Because he's got good pen taking. But then he's got good long shot. That's not really long shot. It's more so the shot power. He's got good shot power. So when you've got a guy that's... Pretty good at penalty taking, but he's got, like, he takes, what is it called? Shoots with power, yeah? Shoots with power. When he does that, has that as his preferred move, it helps. And I'll just go, yeah, Adelsbury, where are we? Where's the preferred moves? Uh, I don't like this. I've got to change this to one. I think I put happiness on the United one. There we go. But anyway, we have to go to the other one for preferred moves here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It, it's He says shoots from distance and hit free kicks with power. I suppose if he can hit free kicks with power, he can hit anything else <laughs> with power. And can even deputise as a right back. Man. And he can look at that potential. His current ability is only three stars. And potential, four and a half. Wowee. His potential to be a leading player. I thought it might be a bit higher with that potential. But yeah, at least to be a dominant player in this league. It says he's inconsistent. But this is... Look at all these goals. That is not inconsistent. For a guy that in report says he's inconsistent. Wow. That's like a striker. That often scoring. Man. He has stepped up though. Josh Pask. Might bring on the experience of Gallinar. Maybe to keep a clean sheet. Hopefully that would be the case. Might put him as centre defender. And he's still natural. He's not naturally a centre back yet. No, nah, even though we're tr we'll be training that. Yeah, we're even training, but he just hasn't stepped up to that level. <laughs> At least we're improving his quickness. That's a good thing. We're training on it, and it is actually improving. So hopefully that shows. But yeah, for a centre back, he's not strong. He's not that good in the air. Oh, it's eight and ten, like ten heading and eight jumping reach. He's not super amazing, but I guess it just is. Yeah, he's got a bit of leadership and determination. Those are decent ratings. But, yeah. Like, last season, he was really good. Might make one more sub. Dan Hart, don't want to get a red. And he's played poorly as well. And we'll bring on Adnan Marich, who sometimes we can't select, like in the previous game, because he, yeah, international caps. At 18, he's already playing for the Swedish under-21s. What's his potential like? Ooh, good Skybet League 1, so definitely potential signing, because he's on Swansea. He's definitely not good enough to be in Premier League. So, if they let him go, whoo. Guy for League One potential. And he's got really strong attributes as well. And he's another guy that can play centre-back. I'll say there's a lot more to come from you for Gallon, and He looks happy. Don't forget he's the captain of the club as well. So that lifts him up and he'll play a bit better. I'll say I have faith in marriage. He comes on, looks happy. Oh, come on. Hold on to this, lads, man. This, again, this will be a great win. We will go, like, from the relegation zone not too long ago to maybe in the promotion playoff zone. Imagine that. And, of course, we'll get an injury. <laughs> McPhee, he'll come off. And we'll bring on Noah Keats. So, like, we can... And now, oh, now Gallinar goes captain. Sorry, because McPhee started as captain. But he's off now, so eventually Gallinar comes in as captain. And, again, it's another defensive, like, best-rated um, defender in the game, or by ratings, at least, is Sakani Simpson. Very, very solid. Yeah, Sakani is. So, Noah Keats coming on. A lot more to come from him. He needs match fitness as well. He comes on, looks happy. So more than anything, I just want to hold on to this now. 
I'm not going to, I don't want to go defensive or something. That's when you can concede. Just keep going. Damn, Kiev! Come on! Where did this form come from, though? Oh, and lock. That's an assist. That's perfect. Oh, shit. Demkiv to finish. This young guy is performing as well. Marriage, what are you doing? Luckily, we scored that goal. Because <laughs> they're probably going to score here unless lock can make another pen save. He did last time, I remember. Can he do it again? McDonald v lock. Lock again! Oh, hate that. Oh, that's that's hard to take. He made a save. He saved the pen. Oh, and then it just fell to him. <laughs> oh my god, that is hard to take. Honestly, that is hard to take. But as long as we still win the game, get the three points, that's all I'm really concerned about, to be honest. It's four minutes extra time. There may be something. There may be. But, yeah, it looks like we're holding on here. Maybe we could finish it. Walks. Adelsby again! <laughs> Rattles against the crossbar. But that's over. At the recreation grounds. Another away win. Passionately. Well done. Yep, keep lifting up this morale. So it can, yeah, set the tone for the rest of the season as that position, as I said, eighth. But now, look at this. We are only two points away from fourth. I've done it again. I have done it again, coming out from nowhere. And promotion is a real consideration this season. Wowee. And now I just want to check my board confidence. Okay, it's still going to be probably 75%. Untouchable, but doesn't does it say anything else? Yeah, mid-table finish, but it looks a bit better than a mid-table finish right now. We're just behind these teams. What we got Macclesfield? Yeah, if that's how you say that, Macclesfield. Where are they? They are near the bottom. They're twentieth. Uh, yeah, Barrow as well. Oh, Barrow. We're playing against twenty-second and twentieth, and they're both home games. Like now, we're going to go attacking. Train. I've been working on defending, so that is obviously obviously shown. What was the we conceded only one goal in both games. But now, it's all out attack. Work on attacking and attacking movement for the next two games. Where, because we won these two, away from home, we beat a team, Braintree it was. And they've dropped down to six now. Barrow and Macclesfield, 22, um, 20 seconds, sorry, yeah, 22nd and 20th. we got to be looking to win both of those to put us into the playoffs actually into those positions. Right now, we're just below them. But, yeah, two wins would put us in there. Because you think, yeah, either Lincoln or Cheltenham, you think one of them will just get a draw in a game or something. And what's our... I see, our goal difference is what we need to work on. Or you say work on. You can't <laughs> You can't work on it too much. You just got to... It's not something you can say you can work on. You just got to try and win games, and hopefully that goes well. But more than anything... I'm happy just to, yeah, keep my job and not be anywhere near getting relegated or fired, which I'm not. I probably won't now. Definitely not relegated and probably not definitely fired. Like, being realistic, I'm probably going to finish even if I have maybe a bad run. at the Like, at a minimum, we'll finish low mid-table at a minimum and maximum could get promoted through the playoffs. Not first. That's probably too far away. Easily is too good. But anyway, drop a like. If an episode ever deserved a like for the turnarounds we have showed. Wow. I'm so happy with this performance. Hopefully you are too. Drop a like. Smash that like button. <laughs> I know it won't happen. Just try and smash like 500 or something. But that was insane. What an insane performance. Whew. I am pumped. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.